G'day from Suzuka where I'm here for the Japanese Grand Prix. It took me two flights, two train trips to get here. For the first time ever I've tasted barbecue eel and seen cherry blossoms in full bloom. If you're ready to experience all of that, stick around. We have access to the new lounge which is just across the boarding gate and that's the receipt for the baggage check in. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy your flight then. Cheers. Now you heard at check-in, Mia mentioned that uh, I had lounge access. Well, this is a brand new lounge. It's the first time I've been here. It's only been open a month. The last lounge was, um, it was a shocker. It was small, uninspiring, terrible food. But they've lifted their game big time here. We now have a much larger area. We have a cold section where you can just grab what you want. There's also a beautiful charcuterie plate over there. There's breads, toasters, a wide range of drinks that you can self-serve. And then there's a bar. And have a look at this range of wines. This is impressive, including some French. Well, Champagne is French by its name. So I've got a glass of Piper Heidseer. And I'm not sure that I remember them having Champagne on offer in the last lounge, but it's nice and quiet. It's in a completely different spot. It's the other end of the terminal here in Perth, and there is a chef over there who will cook you carrot cake. Now, this is carrot cake, and it's uh, available in sweet or savoury. I, I went with the savoury. Oh, it's tasty. I don't know what this is. Mm, I like it. So, other offerings include some fried rice which is very good. Shepherd's pie, also tasty. And some chimichurri chicken, which is cold. That's been out there too long. My pick, the freshly cooked Singapore style carrot cake. The young girl at the bar is quite switched on after I um, came back and sat down to start eating, having already had a look at her wine. She came over and said, oh, we've got some other cocktails. If you want to come and have a look at those. And I thought at that point, it's not very often you get staff who are willing to go that extra mile for their company to promote what's on offer in this lounge and I think that's a real pat on the back to her and obviously the management here that they allow their staff to effectively go to bat as an ambassador for Singapore Airlines and the drinks yeah they were good this is an A350 today and it's uh, just under five years of age tidy looking aircraft dinner wise they take your order just before they take off and then they prepare it Obviously in about an hour into the flight, I imagine we'll be getting served. I've picked a chicken. And how was the chicken? It was average, I'm gonna give that six out of 10. The salad though before it was pretty darn good. I actually thought I had about an hour layover here, but it turns out I've got three and I don't need to eat any more. So uh, let's go for a quick tour through this magnificent airport. On the train heading from terminal two to three and it goes through the jewel, which is quite beautiful from this height. My next flight's out of terminal two. So I've taken the train over to this lounge here, there are two lounges on this level in Terminal 2, both Silver Chris lounges. This one uh, is the business class lounge. Well, there's actually three. Uh, food's pretty good up there. There's a variety of uh, Western and Asian food, plenty to drink, some Tetonjeu champagne, which makes me happy. Not that I'll be having any of that tonight. Just a whole lot of seats, a whole lot of bucket seats, um, some nice lights. Nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't think there's much of a design element to it. I think they could have done more. I spent uh, two hours in here, now it's time to head back down to my flight to Nagoya. Hello, Hello. Hello. Welcome. Right, this way please. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm safely ensconced in my suite, which is 12A on this Boeing 787. Now there is an amenities kit, but you do need to ask for it, and in it are three potions, well, some face mist, which is just water, I guess. Lip balm and some moisturizer, all up. Um, I found some stuff on the net here. What is it, a few dollars US? Certainly nothing like Catter or Emirates offerings. And I'm not sure of how long our journey is. I think it's in the order of five hours. So uh, nothing to eat, nothing to drink, straight to sleep. 
well, four hours sleep and uh, we're going to arrive about 15 minutes early into Nagoya. It is cold and it is grey. Now at this point I should say that the staff on board the flights are fantastic. I don't think I can ever say that I've had anything but spectacular service from them. They're smiley, they are warm and immaculately presented. But let's get on to the seat itself. The seat on both of these flights is the Stellia Aerospace Symphony seat. It's probably worth between 60 and 100,000 US dollars per suite, and it's only used on regional flights. And while it's okay for daytime flights, I didn't love it for sleeping on. There's no mattress, and that's a bit of a drawback. There is a nice pillow though, and a blanket, which is absolutely fine. Singapore has five or six different business class cabins, and I rate this uh, towards the middle. The best, without a doubt, is their A380 business class cabin because the seats are far larger and because often you're flying on overnight flights, you get far better bedding. But it's unlikely that you'll get the choice between taking, say, a 787 and an A380. Your 787s and your A350s are mainly for short connections to get to Singapore, perhaps, and then take your longer flight to New York or London or long haul flights. So in summary, Singapore Airlines is one of the world's great airlines. I just don't love that seat. And if you get the chance to take the A380 in business, you will be supremely delighted, I'm sure. I've never flown into Nagoya before. It's the closest city to Suzuka with an international airport. Normally I come in through uh, Osaka or Narita. Yeah, this is only a very short 43 minute train ride down to Suzuka today. The slowest part of that was waiting for the luggage, probably about 16 minutes, and then it was a couple of questions at uh, customs and let straight through. Well, it was just a short walk from the International Arrivals Hall up a uh, ramp to what is the train station here. Now I'm gonna grab myself a train into the center of Nagoya. But first, a quick snack from the Family Mart. Two of the tastiest sandwiches you'll find. <laughs> so who are these? Uh, all of them. Well, most, uh, of, most them. of my most favorite. Of <laughs> well, of course, Oscar. Char with all the A's. <laughs> Carlos Sainz, Lando. Um, Alex with his horsey pet, and of course Supermax and Yuki. It's all inside <laughs> illustration boards and we got a meter long tarps. I found someone I know. What is he doing over there? And I'm in the heart of Nagoya here near the train station and there is a, a, an Alpha Tauri car situated here from I don't know what year that one is, but um, yeah, you've got this young fella here, quite popular in this country. This bloke here is quite popular in my country. And the great Nico Hulkenberg from Germany. And Kevin Magnussen. And as you can see, at the top of all these posters, we have cherry blossoms because this is the cherry blossom time of year, and it wasn't in September when we were here last. Well, I've been told that this region is quite well known for an eel dish called Hitsumabushi, and we've come up here to the second or third floor of this particular building and there's lots and lots of restaurants here and the moment we walked around the corner we found this one over here which my son tells me is Hitsumabushi. We've ordered just the smallest serve you can have and actually cook it here and uh, over hot coals. It was 20 US for a serving with four pieces. This is eel don and it is barbecued eel with rice. First taste, it's got a nice sauce on it by the look of it. It's fantastic. It is gorgeous. It's a soft meat, it's got a little bit of crispy outer skin on it. The sauce is beautiful and um, I recommend it to you highly. Well, I like that meal. Uh, if you're looking for it, it's called Bin Cho and it is not too far from the railway station. It's a little bit wet out here. We now have an umbrella, so we are safe from the rain. Well, you're not if I do that. But now you are. Having tried that beautiful eel, we've now gone for a full meal here of some beef. Hot coal barbecue there, and we have a menu here, and Jace has probably a bit bigger appetite than I because I had that eel. Well, that was a good lunch at Nagoya West. It wasn't a great lunch. It certainly wasn't anywhere near as good as that one we had in Osaka last year in a hotel basement that we were staying in, but can't complain. Just, I thought, a bit overpriced. 7.1 out of 10. Well, I've heard so much about cherry blossoms, but I've never been here at the right time. But today, this is the right time, albeit 
It's lousy grey skies. It'd be a lot nicer if it was blue skies, but this is very, very impressive. It's such a shame that we only have um, a few hours today to come and see what is quite magnificent. But better than not seeing it all, I guess. I'm a pretty ordinary tourist, but I've got to say, this is very impressive with the cherry blossoms here. You've got a castle that's 492 years old and a whopping great moat down here, which would have represented some sort of challenge for anyone trying to get in. We are now two minutes away from our train leaving and there's a great deal of pressure to make this train. This lady's been very, very helpful and we're very grateful for her help. Well, we're on the final train journey to our destination, which is Shiroko, one of the stations and not too far from Suzuka and very close to where we're staying in the Media Hotel. At the moment we're going over a river is evidenced by the water out there. This is the deluxe car and I think it cost us about 16 US dollars for a trip that'll take 43 minutes and it is indeed a, a very comfortable way to travel. Well here we are back at the Comfort Hotel in Suzuka and it is quaint would be a nice word. It's a really interesting place. Oh, one of the great things there's a washer and a dryer on the same floor. This is the smallest room that I stay in all year. In a second I'll show it to you, but it's quite remarkable. Uh, typical of Japanese business hotels. And for the next four days, this place is chock-a-block full of the world's media. Let's head into this drop-in bathroom. So many Japanese hotels have these, I guess they're just pre-constructed bizos. Uh, yes, you get some shampoo, conditioner, and body wash down here. I've got the standard Japanese toilet with the water feature. And a bath which yeah I could squeeze into. This is the shower and we have an old style shower curtain. Every room at this hotel is the same size as far as I can make out. They're all 15 square meters. I do get a little fridge here. There's an alarm clock just there and these are my room lights. There's a quirky telephone but given my Japanese is very poor and the guys downstairs don't speak much English you're better off going down and using Google Translate. And thankfully, the window behind me opens, so at least I get a bit of fresh air in here. Air conditioning, though, works fantastically. So where exactly are we, I hear you cry? Well, we're probably 400 metres from Shiroko Station. That's where the media bus leaves for the track each day and drops us back each night. So convenience-wise, it is fantastic. Well, this is the queue of people waiting to get on the buses to go out to the track today. This is at Shiroko Station. The journey's about... I don't know, four, five, six kilometres, I think. Um, going to the track, 15 minutes, coming home in traffic, could be anything up to an hour. But these people are in for a big day. Well, that's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please smash that like button and check that you are subscribed. So many of you think you're subscribed, and when you check, you're not. And for a whole lot of extra content, head here and have a look. Thanks for watching. And stay passionate. And the trolleys are free, if I can get it apart.